mate, I thought we'd have a, a driver to Maserati because um, if, if we're looking around, I guess, at fun and family-friendly cars, I was thinking this could actually be a pretty good um, car to actually have a look at. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, good, good choice to explore this one. Yeah, because, I mean, it's a good full-size sedan, isn't it? It is. Um, the car that we're in today is a Maserati Ghibli Model S, which uh, has 301 kilowatts of uh, Ferrari-built V6 twin-turbo power. So and you can definitely tell it's from the Ferrari stable, mate, with the noise that it out makes. Yeah, that it's, it's an awesome sound this thing makes, doesn't it? Ooh, yeah. yeah. So, um, mate, you've had a drive of this car. Give us your thoughts on how it drives. Yeah, it's. Well, the level of refinement in this car is top notch. You know it's a special car. As soon as you open the door and you and you sit inside, you know it's special. And that's even before you turn the engine on. So you'll see it from the images. The um, the finish on this car is another level. Uh, it's got the the carbon pack on it, so the steering wheel and the, some of the touch um, touch points on on the car are. Uh, it makes it feel even more special, and the, the finish on on the upholstery is really, really nice. I, I, I guess the appeal for cars like this, um, as opposed to you know German cars like Mercedes, BMW, etc., is that, like you said, they do make you feel special, don't they? It, it's it's bespoke. It feels like it's a lovely Italian tailor-made suit or something like that, isn't it? Spot Just on. The quality of the leathers, the smell. Yeah, in this car. Jeez, it smells not much. Yeah, better. exactly right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's just so tactile. Yeah. You know, you can well you said. can buy those uh, you know other brands that um, you know just uh, are very functional. Yeah. But this really, I think, appeals to you, your senses, your emotions, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. It, it I mean, stirs from the noise it. it makes, from the way it looks, it's got that beautiful sort of Maserati, traditional Maserati Italian styling to it. You know, with the trident on the uh, the C pillar and everything like that. Um, yeah, mate, it's, it's just a lovely thing, this thing, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It really is. And, you know, the first thing I noticed when I got in is exactly the trident on the steering wheel. And it does, you know, it does stir the emotions. It really does give that, um, that extra special feel to it. And that's even before you turn over the engine and listen to how it sounds, mm. how it steers, how it brakes, how it accelerates. Yeah. So it's a, it's a massive... Um, achievement for them to be able to do that before you even turn a wheel. Yep. I think, I mean, some of the little touches in this car that make it feel so special, you've got that lovely, you know, Maserati analog clock in the dashboard, don't you? Exactly. Yeah. The, yeah. the, uh, the tradition in the car is, um, is still there. Yeah. They've so. modernised it, and, um, but they haven't overdone it. Yep. It still, it still feels like a, a, it's got the tradition interwoven into the design, but you've got all the mod cons, the touch screen, the, the gearbox um, is fantastic with the paddles here, which are attached to the steering column, which is a massive win. Yeah. Uh, really nice, as you can really change gears from a number of positions on the steering wheel. Yeah, fantastic. The, the, um, the upgrades I think this thing's had for, I mean, the, the, the Ghibli's been out for a while, but the progressively just, you know, chipped away and upgraded as, as it goes along. It's got that, like you mentioned, the 8.4-inch uh, touchscreen uh, system here. Uh, you know, it's, it's all hooked up to a, uh, a lovely cylindrical sort of, you know, like line drive type um, controller. Yeah. Which is nice. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Now, from a performance perspective, I, uh, when we were in a bit of traffic and there was a bit of a gap mm. I did give it a little bit of a squirt and uh, the torque delivery is fantastic it's really smooth but the thing that really distracted me from the ultimate performance was the noise this thing uh, and it was in a tunnel so this thing wow it got it, it stirred the butterflies in my stomach it was just sensational mm. they really nailed it well I think, I think you're right like when you shove it in sport mode that's when it really comes alive, doesn't it? So, Absolutely. Yeah. And it's, I have to admit, it's the first button I pressed. Yeah. <laughs> Not surprising. But you can really hear that that Ferrari DNA 
yeah. uh, interwoven into the engine and the exhaust note. surfaces like and everything like that can't you you can yeah and it's well weighted yeah it really is spot on they've done very well with that as well wow. yeah a lot of tick boxes there a lot of ticks well i think from a family friendly standpoint um it's got um you know plenty of room in the back um the, the leg room probably if you need leg room you might want to have to go up to maybe a quattroporte or something because that's the long wheelbase of, yeah. of the car type thing but uh you know it seems to be plenty of uh room and comfort in the back it's got vents in the back which is good um, the only thing I guess about what I'm feeling is because this is a Ghibli S it's running 21 inch wheels on it so it's riding a little bit further I think I mean you know if, if you're an enthusiast and you you love that feel it's gonna be fine but you know on a long trip with kids in the back you might mm. find that they get a bit sick of that. Like, yeah, no. yeah, for sure. Yeah. But I mean, you can get this car in different uh, models too. Like at the entry level for one of these is a, uh, a Ghibli uh, diesel, uh, which I think is around about. I'll check my notes here. About one hundred and thirty-nine thousand list price. Then you can go up to a um, uh, standard petrol, which uh, has a, about two hundred and fifty-seven kilowatts, five hundred newton meters of torque. Still a three-liter twin turbo v6 but that's going to be about 144,000 mm -hmm. um, but the one we're in today has a list price of about uh, 180,000 which is the, the Ghibli S yeah. 301 kilowatts 5,500 rpm and 550 newton meters at uh, you know at a peak of about four and a half to 5,000 rpm there but the the torque does come in low doesn't it, it, it does. is a v6 so, yeah, yeah it does it really does yeah. and the gearbox helps as well the gear ratios which is yeah you were saying before is a zf it's a ZF8 Z8 speed. speed. It's, it's not a you know like a dual clutch or anything like that. No. It's a proper automatic, but it does respond really well with the panels, doesn't it? It's quick, so. mate. Honestly, you can be really hard pressed to tell that it isn't a dual clutch gearbox. It's yeah, really right, responsive. Actually. Yeah, I mean the the way technology is going with these you know new generation automatics, it's it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it really is. It it very very yeah. impressive. I mean, if you told me it was a dual clutch, I would be hard pressed to refute it yep I really would is it yeah and both the upshift and the downshift I mean obviously I haven't been really pushing it because we're on the street but um, yeah it responds both upshifts and downshifts under brake and higher up in the revs it, uh, it just it's nearly instant yeah yep this car is uh, quite a good performer. Um, I think on paper it's 0 to 100 in about five seconds flat for the Ghibli S. Yeah. And yeah, you you believe that? Would yeah, you? yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely a more GT oriented car. Okay. For sure. Right. That's yep. my opinion. Yep. Uh, the gearing seems a bit longer. Uh, it's smooth. It's progressive. Uh, the, it's got a plenty of performance. Yeah. Plenty enough. I think, I mean, as we mentioned, it's it's got a lot of um, sort of, uh, I suppose, bespoke tactile feel about it. But I guess people looking at this sort of um, uh, type of car, this, you know, prestige level, they do like having a lot of tech in the cars. Mm. And I probably have to say that, you know, the model year 17 Ghibli um, has come up. Uh, a level in terms of safety tech and things like that because you can now get a uh, what's called an ad, uh, advanced uh, driver assistance assistant systems package which uh, has uh, adaptive cruise control with stop and go uh, lane departure warning uh, forward collision warning as well 
um, auto braking in an emergency and uh, yeah things like that so um, it sort of brings it up to you know the German level I suppose with they, they have a lot of safety and tech features in their cars don't they? They so, do yeah they do and yeah. it seems like they've incorporated that really well into the car mm. into this car yeah and the switch gear on the steering wheel it's intuitive yeah the uh, lane departure works well yep um, even the you know the blind spot warning it came up with the the warning there and then there was an audible beep when it just got that little bit closer so they really thought about all these details and they've executed it really well mm. and it's a pretty practical car like you know you've got um a, a pretty uh, reasonable size boot in the back yeah as well which is good yep. so you know as, as a as a sort of like a family car like your traditional australian family car sedan sort of thing yeah it's expensive but hey it does the job it's got the performance and everything too doesn't it so i yeah. think uh if you had the means and you appreciated a slightly higher level of of luxury this is definitely one to consider. Well, I think that's what you're paying for, isn't it? I mean, you, you, you could get yourself, a, you know, a high-performance German car um, that you know, may even on paper have more uh, power, more performance, etc. But this car, like, with the... the it's, it's the way it makes you feel, isn't it? It's yeah. Just, it, it's just special. It, 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 yeah. It's individual. Um, you know, even to the point you can, you can get, um, you know, like Xenia upholstery in the car like yeah from Xenia silk stuff like that so that the buying experience I imagine for this car will be really enjoyable well I think yeah that's the key word isn't it they, they make you feel special yeah. Uh, yeah 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 whereas the others you yeah, look at a catalogue choose the color scheme you paint color interior colors yeah. few finishes and then you're done and then off you go yeah, onto the production line the amount of options you can sort of you know individualize this car it's, it's, you know, down to the, you know, the type of materials you want to use, the paint and, and stuff like that. It, you could really make this an in individual car, couldn't you? Yeah. Uh, and it sounds great. Did I mention that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Matt, you've had a drive of this gorgeous Maserati Ghibli. Give us your thoughts. It's well refined. It, <laughs> it is lovely. It really is. It, it lives up to the brand expectation, okay. that's for sure. Yep. Uh, obviously, it's a fairly premium price for, for this segment of the market and for what it is. But I, I think they do it well. I think it's justified. The, in, the interior is lovely, especially with that carbon pack. Mm -hmm. And I love the engine note. It's a standout. That's probably the best thing about this thing, isn't it? It's yes. Yeah. It's just the, the way it sounds and, and that feedback you get from all your sensors when you drive that car, isn't it? So. You, you feel alive, yeah. The, the <coughs> audible notes out of that exhaust are, yeah. are something else. Yeah. Um, and it's it's a real living thing. You really feel like it's adapting to, to your throttle input and there are different tones, different notes. Um, but that's a standout feature for me. Yep. Uh, I really enjoy it. Yeah. Really enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. I think, I mean, as an alternative to, you know, some of the other European makes that sort of, you know, do like an executive sedan, the performance executive sedan, it, it's, it's a great, um, you know, alternative, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And I think it looks, it looks really nice. Yeah. The wheels, I love them. Yeah. They're, Especially they're on these 21 inch, um, wheels, they look gorgeous, don't they? They yeah. do. They're really yeah. nice. I mean, obviously we talked before about the, the ride quality, so yeah. maybe it's compromised that a little bit yeah. for me. The, the look of it the outweighs of it. it. Yeah, no, it's, <laughs> it's part of it, right? This is yeah. this is an emotional vehicle. Yeah, it's, it's know, the you, way it makes you feel this car, rather than you know how it drives. I guess. Exactly yeah. right. And you know, you pull up to anywhere really, and you can get out of there, and you know, you've got sort of that visual credibility, if you may, <laughs> uh, from the hotel, a vanity the perspective. The hotel, uh, what do you call it? Uh, forecourt test? Is that the thing you're talking That's about? That's exactly right. <laughs> so you you're really up there with that, yeah. and. You know, knowing the heritage under the bonnet, uh, yeah, it's great. Yeah, yeah exactly right. Yeah. No, mate, I agree 100%. I think, you know, from a family-friendly standpoint too, it's got everything going for it. Like, you've got room in the back, room in the boot. Um, but, as I mentioned, I suppose, you know, for a long trip, maybe for the kids in the back, that ride or maybe the noise might even get to them. But um, Potentially. who cares? You're having good fun. Exactly. <laughs> I think it's a compromise that they'll just have to put up with. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> 
but it's an event. This is yeah. this driving. This is an occasion. Yeah, in itself, even if you're getting the milk down the street. Very true. <laughs> so, Matt, I guess that last question we always ask, the X Factor question, I don't think we need to actually ask too much about this one, do we? Not at all. But yeah. since you asked, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You'd be looking back at this thing all the time, wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. you'd feel good. Oh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to put out a great big thanks to uh, Maserati Australia for the kind loan of the, uh, the Ghibli today. Um, Matt and I have had lots of fun driving it, which is great. And just want to put out a big thank you to everybody out there watching. Um, the views just keep climbing and climbing. Thank you very, very much. And um, yeah, we'll just keep bringing you more interesting, fun and family friendly cars to, um, to drive. So talk to you soon. Cheers. Bye.